Hey, what's up, guys? I hey, just want to talk to you about the uh, the Bitcoin stuff. So, just show you here. Let's go to this website that I told you all about. It's, uh, it's Broker One, and I'll put the link in. Alright, so log in here. And you can see I have an Amazon trade and a and a Visa trade. So this is the, the interface of Broker One. And you can see what you can trade here. So these are the stocks you can trade. Um, these are the indices that you can trade. Commodities, Forex, and then crypto. Okay. So what it is is that you deposit Bitcoin, and then once you have Bitcoin over there, then you can actually uh, uh, trade the Bitcoin into either one of these things. So let's talk about the Bitcoin. In the easiest thing for you all to do is um, is to go out to Coinbase. I'm gonna go to my email real quick, and I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna put this link in here got a couple referral links in here so if y'all use those uh, help a brother out a little bit but in terms of here I click on my um, coinbase forward slash Mike pair I'll go there and what you can do is once you get there you can uh, create an account so if I were to go in and, and set up account uh, you have to do a sign up I already have actual account so I'm gonna just go in from here so once you get past the uh, initial account setup I'll show you what you need to do in order to uh, in order to actually get Bitcoin just let me log in here and put my uh, referral code in see what I got here alright All right. so now I'm logged in so with this what I can do is I can go here after I have account set up with coinbase you go to buy and sell Bitcoin you click here and say I wanted to buy five bucks worth of Bitcoin right I put in the amount there I say I want to get it and what it's going to do I had to link up my uh, Wells Fargo account um, and it's linked there and so I'm just go ahead and buy five bucks worth of Bitcoin so you can see right now in this account uh, we well, can't see but I'm gonna just go ahead and buy five bucks worth of Bitcoin. I'm gonna confirm, so I'm gonna buy five bucks, right? And it says it's 0 0.011. Bitcoin is denominated in actual uh, eight decimal points, so it breaks it down there. So I'm gonna just buy that five bucks. Go to confirm. All right. So now if I go back to my wallet, uh, I should see. Okay, so it says arrives a day. So I got this five bucks that will, you know, go into this account. All right. So you see my balance just reflected up at the top, five dollars and twenty-eight cents. So I must already had twenty-eight cents in that account. So it's there. Okay. So now I'm gonna go back to my Trading One platform, and where it says deposit, I'm just click here. I'm gonna copy my address, which is a deposit address back to my coinbase wallet and I say you know what I'm gonna send all right I'll put paste my Bitcoin address in there tell how much I want to send five bucks wanted to withdraw from my wallet account and I say uh, one broker uh, test deposit for video all right so send the funds says I don't have that five bucks so the transaction may not have cleared yet 
Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Put it in the wrong denomination. Should have been five dollars, not five Bitcoin. My bad. So five dollars. Go back here. Five dollar USD as opposed to five dollar BTC. Send the funds. Okay, it confirms. All right. So sent that five dollars to that account. Go back over here. Now Bitcoin, it takes about. It can take up to ten minutes to actually transfer uh, over but uh, we'll see so what I'll do I'll just pause right now and pick back up once the uh, the deposit clears hey guys I'm just gonna go ahead and resume while we wait on that deposit to clear I'm just gonna go over a little bit of basic about what Bitcoin is think of Bitcoin as being digital money so like I can go ahead and send an email to uh, you guys and you can get it instantly right so I can send information uh, quickly uh, globally across the world so as long as someone has an email address on the other end and you know they're not blocked by their country um, Bitcoin is is literally the same way it allows you as long as you have a wallet which what this Coinbase is is, is a wallet amongst some other things but allows you to store uh, funds and then you can send and receive those funds in, in Bitcoin so what bitcoin is it's it's digital money and it's a lot of uh complicated math and stuff behind it but just think of it this way just like when cds came out and people were just burning and ripping cds uh you can go out and buy you know michael jackson cd or whatever and somebody can take that cd put it into their computer and they can rip off an exact copy and, and make two copies bitcoin actually uh it's almost impossible to do that what it requires is that it, it uses some uh, math behind the scenes to be able to ensure that you can't create more than one copy and the purpose for that is what they call double spin and in the case of the uh, CD example I just explained you wouldn't be able to make an exact copy without moving it from one thing to another so think about it in a checking account you go into your account and you have uh, money in the account and you transfer that money out you can't transfer that money out twice because it moves from a pure accounting perspective from uh, a credit column to the debit column Bitcoin works in the same way that it moves it from one to the other but with it being digital it has protections in place that it doesn't allow for it to be duplicated without verifying that the uh, the money was taken from the recipient and it was moved to the uh, um, to the destination without it being duplicated so in essence that's that's what Bitcoin is now I'm gonna show you all another site uh, there's a lot of um, interest in Bitcoin because just think of it being as another asset class we talk all the time about stocks stocks is an asset class bonds is an asset class uh, real estate asset class gold asset class Forex you know so we have all of these different asset classes that we can use uh, in order to trade and in Bitcoin is is um, you know it's, it's similar in that respect so what I'm gonna show here is I'm logging to uh, an exchange so just like we trade on the uh, we trade Nasdaq stocks you know we trade uh, New York Stock Exchange stocks they're just exchanges right so if you go to your brokerage account um, on you know I trade on uh, Schwab and, uh, and I trade on uh, TD Ameritrade or, or the Thinkorswim platform uh, Poloniex is a platform for trading cryptocurrencies which Bitcoin is the biggest there are others but Bitcoin is the biggest so you can see here this is just an exchange and you have these different types of cryptocurrencies here that trade now these cryptocurrencies are traded and they're denominated in Bitcoin Bitcoin the ticker for Bitcoin is being BTC and these other coins have have different names the reason why I'm showing you this here is that I just want to highlight that Bitcoin has uh, and all co bitcoins and cryptocurrencies in general have a, uh, a, a big market and there are probably 10 to 15 well-known exchanges all across the world this one actually happens to be in the United States based out of Montana I believe and so people trade currency so here's a another uh, alternative 
currency. So typically when you hear people talk about Bitcoin, they, they say Bitcoin and Bitcoin is a type of cryptocurrency. Um, when they talk about other coins that are non-Bitcoin, a lot of times they may collectively refer to that as altcoins. So Ethereum is a type of altcoin, right? And again, I'm just illustrating this to show you that it trades here. This is the volume that it has. So it's 13,496 Bitcoin. Each Bitcoin right now is trading at 330, I mean, I'm sorry, $437. So you're talking 437 times 13,000, you know, it gives you a, 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 a perspective of how big that, you know, that one currency is trading in. And then you see the others that are there. So just like you have stock exchanges, you know, this is just a cryptocurrency exchange. And as this, you know, you can see from this chart, uh, it was high at one point back in February 12th. And, you know, as of today, uh, I guess it's February 22nd, you can see that it's dropped down. And again, it's denominated in the right hand column. And this is a percentage of the Bitcoin price. So you just take point uh, 01745 times uh, 437 and I'll tell you about how much the coin is actually trading for in dollar terms so let's go back over and see if that transaction has actually shown up here so now going back to broker one when I transferred those funds over from the Bitcoin funds from my Coinbase, you can see that uh, broker one now sees that I have an incoming transaction uh, that's coming into this account because I transferred five USD uh, over to the broker one. So you can see the amount here was 0 0.01143. Go over to broker one, and they uh, stopped it at four decimal places, but it's 0 0.004, right? So that money is coming in, and once it has cleared, then I can go and make a uh, I can go and make a trade. So let's bring up, uh, I'm gonna bring up Thinkorswim for a second. So I'm gonna show you something here. While wow, that's coming up, let's just go to stocks. And so these are the stocks that they, that you can trade uh, here on Broker One. So in, in my example, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna show you something. So let's go to Amazon. So currently Amazon is trading at um, at a bid of 557.63 and an and a, uh, ask of 557.83, right? So um, that's what it's currently trading at. Now if I go back to my uh, open positions that I have, you can see here that this is my Amazon trade that I actually put on. So you can see um, I created it five days ago and you can see my my uh, profit is 0.1189. On this 0.1189, that's the amount times the Bitcoin price. If you take the day's price of 437, so you can see it's like a $43 trade, $45 trade, something like that. But um, what's interesting about this is, let me see if this is history. Okay, so you can see actually where I bought. Oh, I'm sorry. It's the wrong one. I'm trying to get back to my order. So you can see where I bought this Amazon at. Uh, duh, 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 duh. I can't see my entry price on here. I'm, I'm going to have to find it. Bear with me one second. I don't want to close the order. I found this earlier. No open orders. Open position. Well, anyway, you have to do the math on it. But you can see I'm up 108%. You know, it's, and it changes dynamically because the stock is actually changing right now. 108%. But I only put in $45 for this trade. Now, if if I were just on the regular platform, say my Thinkorswim. couldn't I couldn't actually buy one share Amazon one share Amazon would have cost me uh, at my entry price it would have cost me you know five hundred and something dollars for one share but I was able to trade a fraction of a share 
and use Bitcoin to do it now so you say okay well Michael why why is that you know why is this so uh, important and it's a risk factor so I want to make sure that I, I give you all the caveats about the risk so you can see here on this trade it says longer short then you see where it says leverage so what it is I'm borrowing uh, leverage to basically make this 15 to 1 ratio so for every one dollar that I have invested I have fifteen dollars at risk so someone may say well where did that other fifteen dollars come from well it came from because I borrowed against it right and so they charge me a, a interest rate you know for that particular position so if I go to my transaction log here I guess with the recording software up it doesn't allow me oh it wasn't that it was my thinker swim coming up let me get back I'm sorry so with the transaction log here you can see um, that every day charging me interest on my Amazon trade right here and that's because I, I borrowed and you can see that I, I initiated the Amazon trade with 0.118 and you can see now that I'm up to 0.33 I'm sorry 0.23334 so um, so you can see and the trade didn't you know say so trade was four days ago so if I were to go into Amazon let's just do this real quick this is on think or swim platform or, or normal deal go to charts I'm just do I'm just do a one day I'm sorry do a five day a daily so you can see five days ago so I, between four and five days ago so that's Monday let me go back not do a five minute let me do a let me do a ten day so five days ago so it's Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday so say we go back to Tuesday so anywhere between Tuesday and Wednesday so I bought it anywhere between 520 you know somewhere around the 520 range 530 range right but so from 530 up to today's price say 520 up to today's price of 558 or 560 right just say that's a 30 point move a 30 to 40 point move so if I were to just to have this stock one share would have cost me number one one share would have cost me in a regular brokerage account it would cost me 558 dollars all right and so it would have been one share times um, you know the profit and the difference between the two is about 40 bucks so I'd have made about 40 bucks on this but I would have had to put up five hundred and fifty eight dollars where in this case on this broker one account I only put up a fraction of that so if, you, if I just bring up my calculator here so let's just say we take today's price of 437 times point one 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 eight so you can see I got forty eight dollars into the trade right that's that's a total amount that I have invested with forty eight dollars I would not have been able to even buy a single share of the Amazon here but with the leverage and way that this uh, broker one is set up using the Bitcoin as the collateral I was able to do that so I took uh, a trade that I entered in at point one 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 eight which again is the forty eight dollars now so let's just say let's turn this other number the two 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 three 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 let's say how much that is again using today's price so if I take four thirty seven times the point two three 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 hundred and one dollars minus the forty eight I'm up fifty three dollars hence it says that I'm up uh, you know a hundred percent on the trade right so that's again that's using leverage and it gives us that that opportunity so I don't have much over here but I just wanted to illustrate this to you all so again I can send you all out this link for um, I'll put this in the in the uh, in the Voxer for both of these again these are um, and I don't know if you, you know that Voxer does have a web interface so I'll put this in the Voxer for you guys let me log in real quick and I'm gonna put my 
couple things. My so if you want to sign up for a Coinbase account, now I know Kyle already has a Coinbase account, and so you can do www.coinbase.com forward slash Mike Pair uh, to sign up for a Coinbase account to acquire Bit. Bitcoin okay and then the other is this broker one account and again I'm gonna go to my referral code for this and if you sign up you can then use your own referral code to tell your other friends about it or whatever if they're interested to sign up for a one broker account to trade posting a video about this layer <sighs> okay so guys thanks for the time if we need need to do more of these I hope this spurs some thoughts some dialogue some questions and uh, also for the other guys I would definitely say that this is a way that you can get into some trading without uh, having a substantial cash outlay to get started so uh, you have some options there to be able to to do this so hope this helps guys um, till next time